And welcome back guys, we're going to be on the Alliance game, 2x PvE, free VIP and TP? They've added a new plug, oh boy. Uh, so I plopped out my base on wipe day. I didn't get everything set up, so today I'm going to be setting up the auto sorting system. I'm also recording during the day, so there's a chance of noise or background noise. Just completely ignore any background noise you hear. Uh, kind of have my control for background noise, but let's look at these features. Quality server, VIP pass, skin box, just stackables, ooh. Reduced upkeep, oh my goodness. They added a lot of stuff in this last update. So, what are you going to need for the sorter system? Well, you are going to need storage adapters, you are going to need industrial conveyors, you are going to need industrial splitter. And we probably should go ahead and make 10 of these additional combiners. These can sometimes be needed within building this auto sorting system. So, for instance, I got one on a drop box. I have it so it's auto smelting. So, basically, what happens is it goes through here for auto smelting. I just drop everything in here for like ore. It automatically gets sucked throughout the boxes, gets put into this conveyor, and it gets brought all the way over here gets put into this lovely storage adapter and then it gets sucked into this lovely furnace and then it just keeps on going down the daisy chain which I will probably unplug this one to add more electrical furnaces at some point but you kind of get the idea of how this works then it gets sucked out of here brought up here comes over here goes through another conveyor which you physically have to press E on it and then you type in what you want. So I've got sulfur, metal frags, charcoal, low-grade fuel, and high vault. At some point I'm going to add the oil burner so that I'll automatically smelt the crude oil when I dump it in the box here. And I'll automatically sort back to this box. So after it dumps back to this box, you need to set it up so that uh, it goes out of the box up up there. So, how are we going to set this up? Well. First, you're going to want to put a storage adapter on each box that you want stuff to be sorted to. So, I already put my storage adapters on there. I can always expand it if I need more space. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, use one of these lovely storage industrial splitters. And I'm going to put it as much as I can in the center here. And then I'm going to add another one here. Oh, no, no, no. Up there. And there. So now we need to. We want an outlet. And then we'll probably go here. Here. Come on here. I just gotta find the inlet here. And then we go over here, and then we're going to go in, and then we'll go from here in, from here in, from here in, and then go from here in, and then we're going to need to put a conveyor here, which is an industrial conveyor. I'm going to put that right there. Then you're going to want to plug into a power source. So did you know? that on the electrical, on the com industrial conveyor, you can bypass by putting power from here that's already going in here, put it over here. So the way I've set this up is I can turn this off, turn off the industrial conveyor system, and it'll create less lag, which is good, right? So now I'm going to change this wire to green. And I'm going to come over here, where it's been linked to here. And I'm probably going to switch that out over to an aqua blue, because there's already a green wire here. I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to bring this lovely cable all the way over to about here. And then I'm going to hide the cable over there. And I'm going to power this up. Now, I'm going to program this to sort stone. 
where it will only put stone in this box. So now, I need to hook it up to these lovely little panels. So, I'm going to drag this out like this. And then... You know what? We should probably put the door frames in before we do that real quick. So, let me just sidetrack for a brief minute here. Yeah, when you're wiring up the piping, the piping has to go over the little gap. So it's kind of important to have your door frames in first. Because if you don't, it's going to mess up the pipe system. So, um, what do I want? Let's do that skin pack. I'll change it later if I need to. Alrighty. One less crisis in the way. Alright, back to the auto sorting system. So I'm gonna use a blue pipe. And I'll go like this. I'm gonna do this. And now the pipe's gonna be a little finicky. Like that. And drag it in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect it up. And I'm gonna power it on. We're going to notice stone start getting dragged through that into the box, like so. So now, when you drop something in this box, it's automatically going to sort what's in here once you program it to the other boxes, automatically sort it throughout the facility. So for instance, with the lovely cards here, and just ignore the dog downstairs. You're gonna notice that if we connect this up, it's gonna sort it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute because the dog is barking downstairs and I doubt you wanna hear that. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and hopefully this helps with you setting up an auto sorting system.
And that's pretty much how you do the sorting system. You literally go through for the conveyors and you program them. For instance, I wanted stone only to go in here, so that's where it's going. And then all you have to do is add the uh, adapters. And then you can just expand if that box gets full. So I already know my stone box is going to get full, so I just add another one of these. We pull this up. I'm going to color code my pipe, put it like that, and there we go. When I get more stone, it will automatically filter to here and here. Uh, there is a way to make it so that anything that gets put in a box by mistake goes ahead and gets refiltered over there. But that's a lot harder to set up than what I just showed you. So, Anyways, that's the video of how to make an auto-sorting system. And in simple answer, if nothing, if there's still stuff in the box and it hasn't dissipated after an hour, then maybe that item's not programmed to go into a box over there somewhere, so that could be a thing. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hope everyone enjoyed this auto sorting tutorial on how to make an auto sorter. Works out great for clans or trios or duos or a friend group that likes to throw stuff in the box. Well, there you go. Put it in a drop box. Let the conveyor system slash pipe system sort out for out the boxes and you're nice and organized. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.